And we're back with Incel, who is having a grand opening in Tyson's Corner with his hot yoga studio. Well, I have to ask you this, Incel. I know a lot of people, you know, want to really sweat, but they may not really want to sweat next to 50 other people who are dripping all their toxins on the floor. I know you have some new systems that you've developed to be in your studio. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your air purifiers and other things you have? Uh, the studio is being advertised as a sterile hot box. Okay. Meaning the, the, the studio that you will be actually practicing in, the heated room, um, we have microbacterial flooring that literally doesn't oh. uh, invite or keep any kind of mold or uh, dew. There is no odor on the floors. Uh, the flooring is the specialty flooring that is used in uh, emergency rooms. And our room is regulated by the oxygen level in the room, not necessarily by how much heat, how much humidity, the humidity and the heat set, 105.40. Okay. The only thing that's being regulated in the room, the circulation of the clean air. Ah. So once the oxygen level drops, the ventilation system kicks in. Literally the entire room under five minutes, 2,000 square feet is cleaned uh, with new fresh air. I think I want to have you tell us a little bit about your own story because your own personal transformation, both physical and mental, but I think uh, a lot of people will be curious about yes. the physical transformation that yoga did for you was born in a tent in the desert, grew up as a Sufi, whirling dervish. I had a lot of parallels with yoga. However, n never done yoga in my life except 10 years ago. I was 244 pounds. What are you now? Can I 172. ask? 172. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it became part of life. Um, Obviously, because you've given up the corporate life and now you're opening a studio. I did give up the corporate studio. life. Uh, I used to run a steel company with about 300 people, six figures. Um, very sporting family. I have dedicated my time to, to the kids and to my family and to yoga. Okay. So you're getting the your breath, body, the concentration. your spine is getting stretched. You're learning mental focus and you're and discipline. listening to your breath and you're exhausted. And yeah. for 90 minutes, all those four things together, somehow responsible for the corner of the brain that's in charge of awakening. So hmm. in that room, you know, you, you are transforming physically. But, but also it's spiritually much more and mentally. than that. It's much more than mm. that. It's you're gaining confidence. You're bringing mm. courage to your mat every day. They finish the class by saying Namaste. Would you please tell us what Namaste means? When you see Namaste to somebody, you're basically telling them you see the light in them, mm. and they say Namaste to you, and they tell you they see the light in you. So you're basically telling each other that you see the mighty and the light in each other. Well, I'd like to say namaste to our viewers, and thank you so much, Incel, for coming and joining thank us today. Thank you very much, Sharon. Thank you.